I asked myself a simple question. What am I? What are you? No, really, it's a good question. Go ahead and ask yourself. You might say something like, I'm a person, a human being, a sentient being. I possess intelligence, I can experience the passing of time, or change, and I can remember the past and imagine a future. I seem to have autonomy over my actions, or free will as far as I know. I experience emotions, I observe through my senses, and I possess this consciousness, which enables me to think, imagine, and ask this question in the first place. I navigate around this physical form we call the human body, which is made up of more than a hundred trillion biological units called cells. So I guess I could say I'm a colony of cells. Each of these cells have specific instructions, or more like recipes, encoded in their DNA, which is a discrete, close to digital, string of protein patterns arranged in several very long series of strings. This DNA holds the steps to guide the cell, along with the RNA, in making new proteins that determine all our biological traits. So collectively, all these cell instructions create the whole functioning me. There are certain cells that develop very differently. We label them as brain cells. The ones that create the neocortex develop an emergent neural network that enables us sensory perception, generation of motor commands, spatial reasoning, conscious thought and language. So I am purely my consciousness, or am I this vehicle, or this colony of cells, or both. What is great is there are others like myself, navigating around other 100 trillion cell island colonies. It's great, I get to communicate in various ways and we get to work together on shared common goals. We socialize and we get to discover ourselves and others like myself, and this place that we all cohabit. During my lifetime I might hook up with one of these colonies that has a certain different set of cell instructions and a different neural network. I'll send an envoy of my specialized half recipe cells into the other colony while both colonies enjoy a chemical fix to the emotions. This envoy usually dies off, but every once in a while one extremely lucky representative cell of mine will meet another very special half instruction cell from the other colony. At this point we merge and mix together both recipes for a new blueprint to produce a new unique cell colony. So in short, I am this beautifully complex biological cell colony that experiences what it has become. I am an entity that exists somewhere in the middle of the informational spectrum between randomness and pure order, the chaotic critical point that creates the very dynamic and complex structure that I call myself. I am an informational phenomena in this natural system we call the universe. I was brought forth from the process of increasing emergent complexity. What excites and motivates me the most is I get to discover myself and my fellow companions and experience and create things in this domain I exist in. After my cell colony degenerates or ages, as it loses its cell and neural network information, I will make room for other colonies to continue to experience this wonderful phenomena called consciousness life. And if I spawn my own cell colonies, then at least the vehicle portion of it will continue to live in the future cell colonies that are descendants of mine, and more likely will eventually saturate the entire species. As for the consciousness portion of me, it has lived and made a chapter in the story of humankind. However insignificant it may seem, it has affected the future in ways we will likely never be aware of. So have the courage to live a life true to yourself not the life others expect you of, and have the courage to express yourself, and most of all, enjoy the ride.